Hey guys, Elizabeth Quinn here with Elizabeth Scenes and Scents and welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to check out my website, waftingwonderfulwax.sensi.us, where I'm Liz Quinn, your certified Scentsy consultant, and the link to that website is in the description box down below. And on June 1st, what we are going to discuss today, which is the scent and warmer of the month for June, will be available for purchase there on my website. So today we have the June scent and warmer of the month for 2022. Now, I did not personally get the warmer, but here is the scent and the warmer, which is so incredibly cute. But the scent is what is creating a stir in Scentsyland. We have not had a bakery smell in a long time for a scent of the month, and this one should be really good. It is called Red, White, and Berry Pie, and supposedly it smells like a cherry pie. And yesterday, not really a part of this video planning, but I just had this intense craving for cherry pie. And we have this wonderful little bakery in town, and I got like a little mini cherry pie. And of course, I had to eat some of it yesterday, but this right here is the real deal. And now we're going to see how Sensi's Red, White, and Berry Pie compares. Because this is my first sniff. And it's pretty darn close. Oh, wow, is this good? Oh, and it's got the almond extract that's in a good cherry pie, like a real one like this, which I'm so sorry if the rest of you um, want this now, but you get that little hit of like almondiness in a good cherry pie, which this is. I'm sure these are Traverse City cherries. Oh, this is great. This is juicy. It is the right balance of cherry with all the other notes. And I think they have made a home run. If this smells like it smells on cold, phenomenal. So let's see what Sensi actually says about this scent. Red, white, and berry pie, according to them, with all of the scent notes, which we always get right here. Top notes are supposed to be clementine, sugar apple, and peach preserves. Mid notes are ripened cherry, red raspberry, and wild cranberry. And the base notes are buttered pastry, vanilla bean, and coconut sugar. So that is quite fancy, but somehow they have managed to take all of those notes and give me an authentic cherry pie experience. So I am very excited. You do get mostly fruit, I wouldn't say that I get crust, crust, like its own separate thing, but there is enough mixture of all the notes in here that I think you get the whole pie scent together very nicely. Mm, this is a good one. So I do have a couple of other scentsy smells to compare it to. We have the ever popular apple cherry strudel, which is retired at the moment, but if you put it in your club, that was wise, mine is in club my bi-monthly. This one is cherry and apple with a strudel note. So this one is more distinctly pastry strudel crusty compared to the red, white, and berry pie. But this one smells like summer and this one smells a little bit more like fall, which it's supposed to. This was originally a fall scent. This one's brighter and juicier, not, not in an off-putting way. Like, it's the right amount of cherry. And this one, you have the apple, and you have more of that strudel, like that flaky strudel dough, oh, which I love. I love this smell. It just, the apple cherry strudel isn't terribly long-lasting. Now, for people who are worried, is there too much cherry in here? Is it too aggressive? I also have the one that's cherry limeade. And mm, this is so much chalkier. It's so much chalkier, so much more like a sweet tart or like a, 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 a candy than this beautiful red, white, and berry pie. This captures the proper amount of juiciness, the proper amount of all those other scents blending to really give me that almond extract, even though it's not specifically a note. I think they did an amazing job with this. I'm very excited. So does it smell like crust? Not exactly but there is enough blending of all flavors with the vanilla, with what's supposed to be sort of a crust base, that it really does smell like a pie. 
I'm very happy with this. I don't think that anybody's going to be disappointed. It is definitely not too sharp or too candy-like. It's very, very good. So let me box the rest of this up. Again, apple cherry strudel just is deeper. It's more fall. You get more butter in apple cherry strudel. You get the apple. This red, white, and berry pie It's going to be a good one. So now let's talk about the warmer. Now, the warmer was initially going to be a patriotic camper for America, a patriotic camper for Canada. They were going to be distinct, obviously, because they're different countries. But there were certain things that the powers that be at Sensi were uh, trying to be very sensitive about when it comes to our Canadian friends. So if you have your heart set on the Canadian camper warmer, I believe that you will be able to purchase it in a certain setup in Canada. But your warmer of the month is something called Pink Topaz, which I do not have a picture of. It's gorgeous. It's actually very complimentary to the bubble warmer that we all got this, this current month of May. And it is like a bright fuchsia pink with sharp angles, similar to the crystal ice. Very attractive. But if you're in the United States, you are going to get this little darling right here, which I love to decorate for seasons, but I'm not really a red, white, and blue stars and stripes forever and camper kind of a girl. So I skipped this one, but it's so cute. And it's called the Land of Liberty. This cute camper is loaded with patriotism and a sense of adventure, making you want to hit the open road. So here are some pictures of it lit up. And this would be absolutely fantastic if you had the type of house where you have a lot of either camping or very like retro goodies that are out all the time. It would be fantastic. So it is $58.50. This is not the cheapest warmer and it'll go up to $65 if it doesn't sell out, sell out during the month. So there's your price. I think it's absolutely darling and I hope that people that purchase it have a great time putting that out. It would be so cute if we had like a little mini tent and a little campfire and you could do like a, a scene that would just be adorable. So back to the smell, which I think everybody is just going to go nuts for. I can't wait to warm this. Oh, yeah. And the longer that this is out, because when the bars breathe, they tend to kind of give you more of the notes. I smell a little bit more across. Oh, this is good. So this one's probably going to be club worthy. We will see when I warm it, how it does. And for me, since I do have apple cherry strudel in my club, now I can really just completely overdose on cherry bakery goodness. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'm going to go back to eating my pie. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.